A new study recently came out about cellular fragility syndrome, which is a nutritional deficiency no one is talking about and no one really even knew existed until now. This deficiency is caused by a lack of essential fatty acid, and this fatty acid in particular is called C15. C15 deficiency syndrome is a newly discovered form of cell death caused by fragile fatty acids in cell membranes, which can accelerate aging-related breakdown and impair metabolic liver and heart health. As many as one in three people worldwide may have low C15 levels and cellular fragility syndrome. Now, I wouldn't share this doom and gloom info without also sharing some good news. And that news is that there's also an incredible scientific breakthrough to support this syndrome. Fatty 15 is on a mission to replenish our C15 levels and restore our long-term health. And get this, studies have also confirmed that the C15 inside Fatty 15 supplements is three times better broader, and safer than omega-3. I actually started taking fatty 15 in replace of omega-3 fish oil pills a while back because I found out about the dirty little secret that fish oil supplements have and how most of them are rancid and oxidized. Fatty 15 has three times more cellular benefits than omega-3 or fish oil. It's made from patented pure and oxidation-resistant C15 power derived from plants. So it's vegan-friendly and free of flavors, fillers, allergens, or preservatives. C15 is the only ingredient in Fatty 15, which is how it should be. No fillers whatsoever. So if you are wanting to stop oxidation in the body and slow down aging, or just looking for a safer alternative to omega-3 fish oil, give Fatty 15 a try, just like I did. You can get an additional 15% off their 90-day subscription starter kit by going to fatty15.com slash digest and use code digest at checkout. That's fatty, F-A-T-T-Y, the number 15.com slash digest and use code DIGEST. Today's bite of knowledge is a long-awaited one. Now, if you've been following along with my Instagram stories, then you probably have seen my blue tongue and have noticed me hinting at what's going on. Truth is, I have been using a potent antifungal, antiviral, and antibacterial research-backed chemical called methylene blue. I recently began using methylene blue to combat a UTI and have been impressed with how many applications there are for it in my daily life. It has been shown to improve learning, memory, and be neuroprotective. It's also re-emerging as a possible treatment for malaria because of its drug-resistant strains, as well as a way to fight off other infections, especially when combined with certain spectrums of light. And that is red light to be precise. So what is methylene blue? So M-Blue, as I like to call it, is a synthetic substance that was initially developed in the late 1800s as a dye for use in textile manufacturing, but soon after it was synthesized and several medical applications were discovered, the first of which was for the treatment of malaria. It's been used as an antiseptic and medication for various diseases since the 1800s and happens to be one of the most potent brain boosters in existence. Methylene blue has been shown to improve memory, focus, and mood while offering a high level of neuroprotection. And recently, it has become popular with neurotropic users because of its incredible benefits to the brain. As mentioned, this supplement can increase energy levels, boost memory, protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease and dementia, slow down aging effects on the body, and even improve mood disorders such as depression. But I want to dig even deeper. You guys, it has a high reward, low risk profile that makes it one of the most exciting supplements in the biohacking world. So if you're interested, keep on listening. 
let's talk about how methylene blue works in the brain. So one of its most important benefits is the ability to protect the brain from damage. Methylene blue works in the brain by crossing the blood-brain barrier, and it enhances energy production in cells and prevents them from dying or aging prematurely. As a result, it's been shown to help prevent or slow down neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. It can also help when there is a problem with how the body's cells use energy. When the body does not work right, it can't make up enough ATP, which might cause issues like too many free radicals. But methylene blue helps the cells use energy more efficiently and lowers free radical production. And check this out. Dopamine and serotonin are essential for cognitive function since they play primary roles in memory, focus, learning, mood, and many other aspects of brain health. So by increasing levels of these neurotransmitters, methylene blue can provide significant benefits to cognitive performance and overall well-being. Let's talk anti-aging for a second. Now, methylene blue works by helping your mitochondria produce more energy. This extra energy helps protect cells from damage, including the kind of damage that leads to aging. Now, because methylene blue boosts this anti-aging effect, it's been shown to slow down some signs of aging in animal models. One study published in the journal Cell showed that methylene blue could extend the lifespan of certain insects and bugs. Now, obviously we are not bugs and this research is still very new, but showing promising results. And I personally can't wait to continue watching these tests as they unfold. Nonetheless, these studies suggest that methylene blue might be able to help you live a longer and healthier life. Quick tip here. If you're trying to get in more animal protein, specifically red meat, but you cannot digest red meat or you just are having trouble, I've definitely experienced that myself and it was really, really hard for me to get in enough red meat protein. So I actually started incorporating Equip Foods Prime Protein. It's their unflavored beef protein powder. And I know what you're thinking. It's like, wait, what the heck is beef protein powder? Well, it's different than bone broth powder. And it basically is like the same equivalent to a four ounce piece of grass fed steak. It has 20 grams of protein and the ingredients, it's just one, the unflavored one ingredient. And that's what I stick to. I add it to my smoothies. You can even add it to like your mac and cheese sauce, hot drinks. I have even added it to my coffee instead of the gelatin that I was previously using. And it frosts your coffee like no other. And you're getting in tons of protein. So whether it's a smoothie, your coffee, or a guacamole dip, and you want to get in red meat and you want to digest it, definitely check out Prime Protein. And it's from the company Equip Foods. Again, I always get the unflavored because there's no sugar, no sugar alternatives, no natural flavors. And I just think it's so versatile and it's something everyone should incorporate in their diet. Another important thing is that it is grass-fed and it's tested for heavy metals, toxins, things like glyphosate. So they go the extra mile to make sure they're providing you with the cleanest source. It is definitely keto and paleo as well as carnivore. So if you're following any of those diets, or again, you just want to get more red meat into your personal diet plan, check out Equip Foods Prime Unflavored Protein. And if you go to equipfoods.com slash digest and use code digest, you'll get 20% off. That's 20% off Equip Foods Prime Protein. Just go to equipfoods.com slash digest and use code digest. Now let's talk dosage. 
The dosage all depends on your reason for taking it. Um, Now, most scientific evidence shows that low dose use hits the sweet spot for effectiveness while avoiding issues such as serotonin syndrome, which I will explain in just a few minutes. So uh, for low dosage, uh, methylene blue combined with certain spectrums of light, UV primarily, as well as red light, may be anti-infective against viruses. That's anti-infective against viruses, including a very popular one we are all too familiar with. Now, side effects. Um, M-Blue is generally safe and well-tolerated, but that said, there are some potential side effects to be aware of before you start taking methylene blue. These include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, headache, anxiety, and confusion. Most of these side effects are mild and go away after a few days or weeks. However, it's essential to consult with your doctor before starting any type of supplement routine, especially if you have any pre-existing conditions that could worsen these side effects. Now, serotonin syndrome is something I previously mentioned and just wanted to touch on and because methylene blue can cause serotonin syndrome, which is a very, very rare but um, it could be a dangerous health condition caused by excess levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin. Methylene blue causes this by um, it inhibits an enzyme called MAO. Now, by inhibiting MAO, methylene blue increases our body's level of serotonin and dopamine and these neurotransmitters that play essential roles um, in regulating mood too much to or too little of these neurotransmitters can lead to symptoms like rapid heart rate, high blood pressure, sweating, shivering, nausea, vomiting, confusion, and disorientation. So again, that's why it's just always good to check with your doctor and healthcare provider when you start any kind of supplement routine. Now, I know the next question is where do you get this and what what does it look like? So it's in a tincture form. So it's a little bottle. It's a tincture. You put it under your tongue. It's a liquid. Um, and you can look it up on Amazon. They have There's a few different reputable companies on there. And um, that's, that's how you take it. You can just put it straight under your tongue or you can um, dilute it in a little water and drink the water. So um, it has, each bottle will have directions. So be sure you're following the directions as well. And um, and that's, that's what it is, you guys. But I personally have been um, really reaping the benefits. And um, again, it's another great alternative for UTIs, especially, as well as mold detoxification. So it's just something to look into. And that is today's Bite of Knowledge. Thanks again for listening to today's Bite of Knowledge. Just a quick, quick, quick reminder, if you enjoyed this episode or are enjoying the podcast in general, please remember to give a quick rating and review. It takes like two seconds. This, by doing this, it helps get this podcast into more ears and it's just the best way to support the show. And I truly appreciate all the love. Thanks for listening to this episode of Digest This. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review in your podcast app to let us know. If you're ever wondering how you can support me and this podcast, sharing it with your friends and family is the best way. This is a Resonant Media production produced by Drake Peterson and edited by Mike Fry. To email the show, message us at digestthispod at gmail.com. See you next time. The content of this show is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for individual medical and mental health advice and does not constitute a provider-patient relationship. As always, talk to your doctor or health team first.